will be sequence model. It will process some sequential data. It can be row wise or column wise. It is in a sequence. So machine learning models use input to provide output. Okay, so it we it may be in a sequence or known as sequence model. Text streams, audio clips, video clips, time series data. Time series data means uh, which is based on the time stamp, just like weather, sales, uh, share market data, airlines data, train. Okay, which is uh, changing in within a second and minutes. Okay, time to time. So these are time based data. Okay, which is in a series. Another types of sequential data are example of sequence. Traditional machine learning assumes that data points are distributed independently and identically, but it many some circumstances such as with language, speech, and time series data. One data item depends on other. Okay. That comes before or after it, just like share market. Uh, tomorrow, what will be the share price of a, for a company and what is the for today? Okay. So, it's depend on they are connected, whether are connected. So, this type of information is also known as sequence data. Similar concept of sequencing is used in machine learning to learn from a sequence of data. RNN are also uh, uh, well known methods in sequence model. That's why for numerical numbers, numerical data, we use ANN, artificial neural network. If we have image, image data, so we will proceed through CNN. And if we have text based data, so we will use RNN. The analysis of sequential data such as text sentence, time series, and other discrete sequence, which which is not continuous. Okay, discrete means not continuous. So it, it has some gap that is not connected. So this that type of data prompted the development of sequence. So these models are better suited to handle sequential data. Okay. Whereas CNN are better suited to treat spatial data, okay, pixel wise data. The crucial element to remember about sequence model is that data we are working with are no longer independently or ident and identically distributed. That means uh, text is a good example of sequence. Sequence and the Data are reliant on an another due to their sequential order. If one word is dependent on another, then we can create a sentence. If this is a sentence, if this is a sentence, so they are connected with each other. Okay. So this sequence is connected with modeling in the process. Okay. So but if you independent, uh, you are independently processing it, so you cannot understand that uh, whether it is a sequence uh, or not. But when it comes through some connecting words, so it, it has some meaning, has some information. Okay. We have to, these inputs values could be time series data. Which shows how a certain variable x, okay, x1, x2, x3, such as demand for a given product, okay, product demanding, so changes over time. So another another example is because at a uh, winter season, uh, uh, customers are purchasing for winter clothes, okay, so they are not buying some hot season uh, clothes. So for that, you have to understand using the data and the demand of the product, or uh, which is changes over time. Okay. So these are 
times is data. The data which changes over time. Okay, it's called time series data. Just like weather, which is always changes through the time. Even at per day, in the morning the temperature are different, in the night it is different, in the noon it is different. So it's changing continuously. So another example is, is text prediction, in which the sequence modeling algorithm predicts the next word based on the sequence of the previous trade. So, sequence model is the process of producing a sequence of values from a set of input values, just like temperature, ring width, ring number, magnitude, satellite data. It can be used so how certain values such as demand for a given product changes over time. So we have to use it for text prediction or next word or the previous one, depend on the previous case. In other words, sequential data we can term video data. Okay. If a movie, a uh, three hours of movie, if you will remove uh, five minutes in gap of uh, of uh, all throughout the video, you are removing five minutes after uh, ten minutes. So you cannot understand the movie because all the videos, all the images, according to the time stamp. Okay, just like in a one second, how many frames? That means how many images are showing and how they are moving. Okay, so in a Second, there are four images, five images, ten images. If you will remove it, so you cannot understand the data. You cannot understand the story. So that's why they are connected in a sequence. All the images are connected through the sequence, and some voices are binding. So the audio and video data are also sequential data. Images up to Extent as sequential data. Below are a few basic examples of sequential data. These are time series data, machine translation. In time series, predicting time series such as stock market projects. Text mining and sentiment analysis are two examples of NLP. Machine translation. You are using some other language as an input and you, the sequential model will convert it. Then different type of language. Image captioning is assessing the current action and craft creating a caption for the image. Deep recommend uh, recurrent uh, neural network DRN for speech recognition. Deep recurrent neural network for speech recognition. Okay. So these are the uh, you can use for music also. Creating music. Okay. You have trained using Shakespeare's voices. How the Shakespeare's use uh, his voice uh, for A, B, C, D. And uh, using that, you can create a series of uh, combining all those words. So, even different, different words, how the Shakespeare use, the, what are the pitch and the frequency. Or the wavelengths of that voice. So you can use those small, small parts of a speech to train your model that it can learn through that features. And if you will provide another text, which is which song is uh, which poem are, are uh, written as, 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 as the singer was different. Okay, so it can be converted. Uh, of the sixth year voice. Okay. So, AI is very uh, creating a new type of uh, challenges for the uh, insecurity also. Because using AI, you can do anything. Okay. You can render anything. Or original thing to artificial. Recurrent neural network for predicting transcription factor 
binding sites based on DNA sequence analysis. Okay, using AI, they are analyzing DNA also. How different? This is biological stuff. So, if you have any ideas how the biology uh, techniques are used, so you can use them in, as a data. So the data can uh, be analyzed and you can create another type of DNA for mixing a lizard with a human. How the DNA can possible? What are the factors are important to creating a lizard man? That means it, which is totally biological. They are experimenting using AI because AI can give the recommendation and ideas which the human cannot do. Uh, even in a 10 years to 50 years. Okay. It can analyze the previous all DNA data and provide in a few hours or a day. Okay. 